Okay. Okay, so today we're going to draw the Mississippi kite. Um, the Mississippi kite is a sleek, crow-sized raptor, so it's only about this big, um, smallish, um, that breeds in, it breeds in various portions of the United States. Um, it nests in bottomland forests and river-associated woodlands. They eat primarily medium-sized and large insects. They, they have a very um, wide range diet. They eat frogs, toads, lizards, bugs, snakes, small birds, and even small mammals. The male and female look very similar. Um, this is their most common sound. Kind of sounds like a little chirp. Okay, so we have a nest down the street from our house, a Mississippi kite nest, and we found it because we saw the mom and dad flying around and then we saw the mom take a branch up to the tree and then we saw her sitting in a big bowl-like nest. So the male protects his mate by watching from a nearby tree. Um, it reminds me of how God is always watching over us and protecting us. Psalm 46 one says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. You wanna show the picture of the, the male? Yeah, we're gonna show you a picture of the male. Let's see if I can get it. So we took this picture a little bit away from our house. So it was pretty close to our house. So that's the male guarding um, the nest. So the nest is in a tree that's close by and he's um, watching the mate, making sure nothing happens. We so there was, the a, the, there was a crow that like flew up and tried to go in the nest and then, but um, he, he flew away. He didn't do anything because he saw the female, but when he flew up close to the nest, the male kind of like put his head down and kind of got ready to fly. Did so, you guys see the picture? No. Oh, you didn't. Weird. Okay, I can't figure out how to get it, how to get it to share. It's so weird. Hold on. Let me try something else. Um, no, it didn't work either. All right, well, well, too bad. <laughs> it looks, it looks just like that, so. Okay, okay. you ready so to get started? Let's get started. Okay, give us just a second. Do I need to edit? No. Oh, this is good. Okay, can, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with the head. And just a little bit of advice. This one's um, kind of tricky. Um, so don't be discouraged if you can't get it right the first time. We're going to upload the video. You can always go, you can always go back and watch it again. Okay, we're going to give Sharp just a second to get on. Okay, is everybody ready? Okay, let's get started. So the head, we're going to start with the head like always. We're just going to do a little bump. It kind of comes up a little bit and then it just goes over. It's gonna come over like that. And then we're going to bring this around like that. And when we bring it down, we're just going to kind of bring it a little bit out as we get down to the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do the beak. We're just going to come out and kind of down. Okay. Oh, 
Hi, Sharp. Okay, so when we bring it back up, we're just going to bring it up just a very small bit. Hi. And then we're going to bring it back like this, and then it's going to kind of curve up. Kind of like the bird from last week. Okay, so we're going to come this way a little bit with that line, and then it's going to come down to the bottom part. And then we're going to bring this part down and then over. Okay, and then we're going to do that line that comes down the middle. It's going to come back there like that. Okay, so this part of the beak is going to be black and this is going to be kind of a golden yellow. So now we're going to do the patch on the eye. So we're just going to do a big curve that comes over. And then we're going to come out. And when we bring it back in, it's going to be real skinny, real skinny little stripe. And then we're also going to kind of repeat that same bump, but it's going to be a little bit more of a bump as we go down as we do it on the bottom. Like that. It actually looks pretty cool. Is that one big yeah. eye? That's not his full eye, but his eye is going to be right here in the middle. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to do a circle inside there for the eye. Okay, we're going to color the eye right now. So I'm just going to get like, you can use a red colored pencil, but I'm using a red brush tip pen. So it's just like a cherry red or bright red. We're just going to do going to outline the, the eye with that red. And then we're going to color the inside, but we're going to leave a little circle white. Okay, so that we're done with the eye. So now we're going to do his back. Wait, what did you do for the inside of the eye? Just I just did black and then I and I just left a little circle white. Okay. So for the back, we're just going to curve down like this. And then we're going to come down again. Okay, and now we're going to come up here and do a zigzag line that comes down like this. Then we're going to do a bump that comes around. And when we bring it down here, we're going to make it look like there's some messy feathers just kind of overlapping that part. 
and then we're going to continue that straight line all the way down and connect to that line down there. So we're going to make it look like there's just some ruffled feathers, some ruffled white feathers just overlapping this wing. Okay, so now we're going to do the designs inside the wing. We're going to start with at like at this bottom little zigzaggy part. We're just going to do a little bumpy line about that far. And then we're just going to come down like this and then curve up. And then we're going to come down here and then do a bigger bump pattern into that line. I can share screen from this. I can share the picture if you want me to. Okay, so y'all, we have a we found a way to share the picture. Let me see if I can do it from here. We're gonna try to do it from the phone. Or not. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, so let's continue. So we're going to come down here or up here and we're going to bring just some lines down. They come down and then they go back up. And we're just going to continue that pattern all the way until we get to the edge of this. And then when we get to the edge of this, we're going to come up here and bring a line that comes way down and then keeps going. And then we're going to repeat that over here. And then we're just going to do a little line if you still have some space. And then one more little down and back up in there. Okay, so now we're going to do a line that matches those. We're going to just keep doing that until we get to the edge. When we get to the edge, we're just going to start here and just kind of come out. And then back up. And then repeat that again. And back up. And same thing for down there. So just kind of matching those lines. And then we're going to do a line that comes down the middle. We're not going to bother missing the lines. We're just going to go all the way down the middle and into the side right there. And there's going to be a cool design in this feather pattern. Okay, and we're going to do the feathers up here with the when we color it. So now we're just going to bring a line down like this, and then another line out like this, and then we're going to bring this one back out, and it's just going to come down here, just a big line, and when we get down here, we're just going to start doing some zigzag lines, and it comes back up like that. And then we're going to keep continue that zigzag line back down again, and then just come up to the wing. And those are going to be the little things that his feet come out of. And then the branch is going to be right here. Okay, now we're going to start here. We're going to bring a line down like this. And then back up. Marin, can you put your paper higher, please? What was that? Can you put your paper higher? Oh, higher. Like, move it up a little bit. Thanks. Okay, so.
So now we're going to do the tail. So this is the bottom of my page. And if you don't have enough space, you can just kind of run it off the page. But I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to come down like this. And then we're going to bring it back up like that. And then we're going to come back down and I'm just going to kind of go off the page a little bit and then bring it. Well, actually we're not going to bring it back up because the branch is going to be right there blocking it. So, now we're going to do the feet real quick. So the feet, we're just going to do two short little lines. Their feet aren't too long. The talons are big, but the legs aren't super long. And then we're going to do a curve that comes around. And then like that. And then back up. So we're doing it just like we always do the birds with prey feet. Back down, that hook, and then when we come back up, we're going to curve out this way and do that little C shape and back in. Okay, we're going to repeat those steps here. And we're going to come down, the C shape, back up. Another down, the C shape, back up. And then we're going to do the thing where we get here and we go out, the half C sh or the C shape, and then back in. So we're just going to repeat those same steps. And then over here, we're just going to do one extra toe. This one, it's, you can't see it because it's hidden. We're just going to do that C shape and then go back in. Now we're just going to do little curved claws out of each of those C shapes. Like that. Okay, now we're going to bring just a wobbly line past the feet and it's going to come down and we're just going to do a bump out and then back in. And that's going to be for the branch. And we're going to continue it out here. And then we're just going to do a little bump like this. And then back out again. Then we're going to do a zigzaggy line. And then we're going to do that bumpy line all the way, and then we're going to bring it down like that. Aaron? Yeah? Can you uh, stop for a second? Because I'm way behind. I still haven't done the feet. Sure. Thanks. You smeared it? Oh, you can't tell. Yeah, you can't look. No, it's okay. Okay, then it's okay. Okay, so now we're going to just do a line that comes out of that branch where the uh, the curve was. And then we're going to bring it back down and attach. Okay, so now we're going to do the wing that's on this side. So we're just going to bring a line 
right, try to level it with this line where we did that wing. So we're just going to bring a curve comes out like this, and then it goes back in like that. Okay, so now we're going to imagine the tail coming up through the branch and it's going to come out of this foot and into there. Like that. Okay, now it's time to color it. So we're going to start with the face. So we're going to get, so I have a cool art tip for y'all that if you need like your pastels to be sharpened, I'm gonna show you with this blue one. If you need your pastels to be sharpened, you can get a scrap piece of paper and you can just kind of rub on one side like this. See how it makes kind of that slant? And then we're going to turn it over and do it on that side. And you see it makes that point. And then we're going to do it on those on those other sides. So we're going to doing it in the fourth. And then we're going to do the other side. And it's just a cool way to sharpen your pastel if you don't have like a blade or something to do it with. And it makes that really fine tip all around. So I've done that with my pastels. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I think it's yes, easier. It pencils. Like when what? you sharp, when you sharpen, like colored pencils or pencils, it goes into that like triangle shape. I know it and does. If you rub it, it does that with pastels or crayons. Okay, so I'm going to get my black and you can sharpen it if you want to, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to go in and do this big patch that goes around the eye. Like that. Okay, and I'm going to show you a really cool trick. So you can do this trick if you have a Sharpie, but if you don't, I'll show you another way afterwards. I was so going to bring my Sharpies. You have Sharpie? No, I was, but my mom told me not to. Okay, so after I do the Sharpie, I can show you another way to do it. So you can just color with black and leave a little white strip so i'm just going to color the whole thing if you have a sharpie just color the whole thing like that and then you're going to go back through with white and just do a little reflection on the beak like that and it makes it look shiny. So, so if you don't have a Sharpie, you can just color it with black and leave a little space white. That'll also work. Okay, so now I'm going to get, it's like a golden yellow color. And I'm just going to color that little space right there with the golden yellow. Then I'm going to go back with black and do a little dot for the nostril. 
like that. Okay, and now we're going to do this color right here. So I'm just going to get um, this light blue and very, very lightly shade in the wing section. Like that. And also over here on this other wing. And then I'm going to back go back over hard with gray. It's like what we did with the Peregrine Falcon last time, but we're using a lighter blue. So it makes a little bit lighter bluish gray. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Like that. Okay, and now while we still have the gray, we're going to do the shadows that are on the chest and the face. So for the face, face shadows, we're just going to kind of shade in here and then just kind of bring it down a little bit and get really light when we go down. And just do a little zigzag, goes around, just a couple little shadows here and there. You don't have to do the shadows exactly like mine. But we're just going around and lightly doing some gray shadows. And now we're going to go back with white over all of those gray shadows. Like that, it makes a really nice sh um, shadow. And now I'm going to get the light gray again and come down here and just do a big V on the belly. And then some shadows down on the feet and in the tail too. And then you probably guessed, go back with white. And just go back with white over all that gray. And it makes a nice shadow. Okay, now we're going to do um, this wing section. So we're going to just lightly shade little lines with our black and also do little spots up there. And then I'm going to get some white and go back over. It makes another one of those nice blended shadows. Okay, so this is kind of the tricky part down here in the wing, but I'll take it step by step and take it slow so you can see. So we're going to get that um, golden yellow again. And where we divided that line, we're going to do the stripes on that side. So we're just going to do color in those little stripes on the right side. Mm -hmm. Like that. 
And then we're going to get our reddish brown and do the stripes on the other side of that middle line. Or, sorry, not those stripes, but the ones in the middle. So, not the ones that are lined up, but the ones that are in the space. And we're going to stop doing the reddish brown when we get to about there. Like that. And then we're going to go back with black and do all of those other little stripes. And then also the spaces over here, the other stripes over here. So we're just going to color in with our black all in there. And it's okay if it's not perfect because this is just practice. And it should look like that when you're done. Okay, and then we're going to bring those stripes of the reddish brown and the black. We're going to bring them up there like that. Just kind of continue them up in this little section. Okay, now we're going to get our black and come in here and just do some zigzags right here. Little zigzags right here, some lines. We're just going to do a few feather lines, whatever types of feather lines you like, you can do those. I'm just going to do any feather pattern you want is fine. Okay, now we're going to do the feet and the branch and also the tail. So we're going to start with the tail and we're going to get our black and just lightly shade. Down on the tail like that. Okay, now we're going to get um, a brown. It's not really light and it's not really dark. It's just kind of in the middle. We're going to go back over and it should make a really, really dark brown. I'm just going to color over all of that tail, all of the lightly shaded black. Okay, now we're going to get a golden yellow. And we're going to color the feet. Aaron, can you move it up a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. So we're just going to color the feet with the yellow, the golden yellow. And then we're going to go back with, I'm using a black marker. So you can also use a colored pencil.
And when you do this, you yes. Are you gonna be doing this zooms during the summer at all? So do y'all want to? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. We can do it through the summer. There probably won't be as many people on them because it's going to be summer break for most kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We will probably be on there. Cool. They'll probably so, find me on there too. Yeah, I'm pro I'll probably be on there. I'm going to go back over that Sharpie with the white pastel. And you can also just leave the white, um, leave it white when you do the black. Okay, so for this branch, um, it's going, we're going to use three colors. We're going to use that brown that we did for the tail. And we're just going to lightly shade. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to lightly shade over all of that and also this one up here. And then we're going to color with the, the light gray. And you don't have to fill in all of it, just color in some, some parts. You can leave a few parts. Um, just light brown if you want to. That's what I'm going to do. Just like that. And then we're going to go back with white. We're just going to cover the whole thing, the whole branch with white. And just kind of blends those colors together and make some places look darker and some places look like they're reflecting the light. Look at that. So that's a cool little branch pattern. We're also going to get our black for the last step and just do some lines down the tail like that. Okay, so don't forget to sign your name like always. And there you have a Mississippi kite.